In this video, we're going to take a look at <clears throat> how to do book snaps. So these are some of the skills that you're going to have to do in order to properly do your book snap. So let's go ahead and take a look. So um, today you're actually going to work on this actual slide deck here um, <clears throat> titled Renaissance Art and Literature. So let's take a look right here. Um, what's going to happen, you're going to see a book snap that looks like this. And some questions you're going to have is gray box where right? the arrow's pointing to it, and you're going to need to, after you read the text, you're going to type in here uh, your answer. So to do so, you just double click to uh, click two times real fast in the box, and then I can type. See, that's simple. So you can type your answers in there. I'm going to get rid of this, but you can easily type inside just by simply clicking two times real quick in the gray box. Okay, uh, most of the uh, of the questions are going to be asking you to to circle things in the text. And it tells you to what color to circle it in. So I'm going to show you how, how to use the line tool, the line scribble tool actually, and to circle your text and how to change the colors. Okay, so you're really going to want to pay attention to this. So um, <clears throat> this first question says in blue, circle evidence of medieval style. I'm not going to give you the answer right now. That would, that would be cheating. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to circle text. This is not the answer, so don't try to copy this. So my line tool is right here. And I'm going to click that little arrow right now next to the line tool. It says select line tool. It gives me all these options. I'm going to go down to scribble. So I'm going to circle, click, and use my mouse to drag and circle it like this. And then I, I needed to change it to blue. So not only do I, I'm going to change it to blue by clicking on the line color button right here. And I'll click on blue. And then you also want to make the line thicker so it's easier for the teacher to see to make sure you have the right answer. So right next to it is the, is the line thickness right here. And I'm going to choose four points right here. And now I have a nice thick blue line, and it's very obvious what I circled. So again, you go here to your scribble tool, and you circle the text using your trackpad. Okay, make sure that you uh, don't click anywhere else, and then click on your on the color and then the thickness and like that you have circled uh, text here in a book snap again whatever color it says you need to uh, change the color the way that I just showed you okay so we're gonna go on to this slide here this one um, again has another questions here where you need to double click and and type type in some answers this is also what we call a, a drag and drop book snap so we have two uh, images right here that you can drag and drop. So pretty much here it says drag a smiley face to the picture that is the Renaissance. So which one you think is Renaissance, you would drag the smiley face and put it next to the one that you think is Renaissance. Same thing for the poop emoji. Drag it where you think it belongs. Put it back. There we go. So you just simply drag it and drop it onto the picture where, where it belongs. Okay, as long as it's inside the picture, it's fine. So we know that you've uh, successfully identified which uh, picture goes with which category. So it's real simple, dragging and dropping. Now this is another one here where you just have to circle. Uh, let's see here. This one here, again, is telling you what color. It says, in orange, circle, piece of evidence. It proves Michelangelo was a Renaissance artist. Okay, so you know, you know how to circle and change the color. Um, <clears throat> but right here it says copy and paste images of two of his works here. So what's going to happen here, you may see some some of these slides will ask you to copy and paste pictures. So you have to do a Google search. So what you're going to do is what, <clears throat> what you're going to be doing is adding a an image to, to this. So to do so, I'm going to go here to the add image. We're going to go search from the web. And you're going to search for another picture. So, for example, look for Michelangelo. Okay, so this might be a picture of him, of some of his work, one of his works. And then you simply add it in here to the to the uh, to the slide. So you do a quick little search, add a picture that you think is in would be an image of Michelangelo's work. So, real simple, not too hard. So, so again, on this next slide here, we have another one where you need to paste a picture of this artist's uh, work. So those are the basic skills that you have to do in order to successfully complete a book snap. Circling, uh, dragging and dropping, clicking in boxes to type, and inserting pictures into your slide. If you have any questions, make sure you raise your hand, ask your teacher, and we will gladly help you out.